Well, hey, LSU fans, Zach Ewing from The Advocate here, and I am standing in Omaha in pretty close to the exact spot where Warren Morris' famous walk-off home run ended the 1996 College World Series for LSU's third national championship. As the Tigers chase, of course, their seventh national title this weekend, playing Wake Forest uh, tonight on Thursday and then trying to get into the championship series, we're here to kind of remember old Rosenblatt Stadium. Today, it's a parking lot. And uh, I'm gonna walk in toward, they, they have left some memorials up, but they've expanded the zoo, which is behind me, the Omaha Zoo, and left up some memorials to old Rosenblatt Stadium, which is mostly an old parking lot. That is the old right field foul pole, the original one, uh, the one that of course observed Warren Morris Homer, uh, you know, 20 feet or so to the left. And then uh, they, they really have everything marked out pretty nicely here. In fact, the first baseline is a white, painted line that goes through the parking lot the whole way down to the old stadium. And I'm going to go ahead and take you in here down this first baseline and show you what they've got. Got a duck under a tree here, the median in the way. Um, just more parking for the zoo. But of course, LSU's won all six of its national titles at Old Rosenblatt. So this place near and dear to the heart of quite a few LSU fans. Um, five of those under the legendary Skip Bertman, of course, in the 90s and then ending in the year 2000. And then Paul Maneri won his national championship at, at LSU in 2009. Rosenblatt Stadium then closed down in 2010. That was the last year that they hosted the College World Series here. In 2011, it moved to TD Ameritrade Field, now Charles Schwab Field, in downtown Omaha, a few miles north of here. And uh, Rosenblatt was torn down, but they did keep a cool memorial. As you see, you walk down this first baseline, now we're at first base, and uh, they've got what they call infield at the zoo here. And it has original bleachers from Rosenblatt Stadium in the makeshift dugouts. Uh, it has original seating, and of course the old sign for Rosenblatt. So some people here playing some ball, checking things out. I've seen some LSU fans here in the little time I've spent here, um, just kind of reliving some memories. So it's a cool deal walking down toward where home plate was at Johnny Rosenblatt Stadium at this point. And uh, here we are, there's home plate. And camera's gonna flip around on me here. And there is Rosenblatt Stadium infield at the zoo where LSU won all six okay. of its national championships, a stat that they hope changes this weekend. Uh, by the way, of course, if they can beat Wake Forest tonight, beat Florida two out of three over the weekend, they will have that elusive seventh national championship and uh, some memories to make up at Charles Schwab Field. But for now, we're at Rosenblatt. There's LSU close to the top. Skip Bertman, 91, 93, the Warren Morris Homer in 96, 97 and 2000, and then Pulmonary in 2009 and you can see the left field foul pole off in the distance in what's now a parking lot but they've done a nice job memorializing it and i uh, thought you guys would enjoy a view of what johnny rosenblatt stadium has become enjoy the game tonight